Good morning. We are starting out this last day of Veda um, at Lowe's actually. We're gonna pick up some mulch, a little bit of rubber mulch and um, an air filter. And then I'm debating whether or not to go to Party City. Evie would really like a pinata and the party is Saturday. So I don't really have time to bring her there unless we went like in the evening when Dan got home. So I might go and just scope it out and see what's available, or I could just pick one up that I think she would like. I'm not sure, but they don't open till 10, it's nine now. So we're gonna run into Lowe's, get what we need here, and then I'll see, I'll see if we're gonna go. We'll see the tractor when we leave, Ben. Hmm? I said we'll see the tractor when we leave. We're looking for the rubber mulch. Pine bark mulch. Nuggets? Is this what it is? Oh, all the way back here, huh? There we go. Well, I'm really glad that I asked because I couldn't find the rubber mulch and then I looked on their website and it said they didn't have any. And I was about to go to a different location. But I always ask an employee and he said, oh yeah, it's back in aisle four. And it was like all the way in the back here. So I'm glad I didn't leave and go somewhere else. <laughs> You think she'd like the horse one? Oh, this one. The dog, that Dalmatian's cute. That's cute. Little mermaid and sharks. All right, so this is where we want to put the rubber mulch that we got. Oh, there's some sheep's wool there. Um, but I'm going to dig out all of the weeds and, you know, rake out all the leaves and stuff. I got myself a new pair of gloves at Lowe's. Okay, that looks much better. This is something we would love to put like all around the place set, but for now, it's fine. These bags are really pretty inexpensive. I think it was $6 a bag. So for 12 bucks, you know, it's a little bit less of a mud pit. And even though this play set is pretty old and really is kind of in rough shape, but we've made a few minor tweaks and reinforced the, the side of it, so. You know, we'll get at least the summer out of it. All right, so I just dusted the, um, took out the old air filter, dusted the vents on the inside and out, and then put the new one in. So we decided on a mermaid. I thought the teal also would go nicely with the teal plates that she picked out. Lara and I both thought that this was probably the one that she would have picked, so we'll see. If she's happy with it, great, and we'll, we'll go from there. And then they had these cute napkins that kind of went with that theme, so I thought we could mix those in also with the plates that we already got. And then I also got a big bag of mixed candy to fill it. I think yeah, this yeah, one, yeah, she got a mermaid. I don't know if this is like a pull string one or if it's one that you hit. She kind of had a few different theme ideas in mind and mermaid was one of them. So I think that will be just fine. As far as like the rest of the party goes, we're keeping it very, very simple. It's not gonna be, it's only gonna be a few kids and we're just gonna do it outside on the deck and do like hot dogs, 
chips, fruit, uh, maybe like a veggie platter, um, juice boxes, and like a cake or cupcakes or something like that. Like very, very simple. I don't stress too much about kids' parties. We've done a ton of them, so I, I, I don't know. I keep it very, very simple. Um, and the kids will play hopefully just in the backyard and swing. We have a swing coming actually, like one of those round like net swings. So we're gonna put that up. And then Evie wants to do like a couple crafts. Like she wants to make either slime or silly putty. I think she wants to make silly putty. She loves watching the like, well both the girls, the What's Up Moms, the, like all their DIYs that they do that are really simple. So we still have to get some supplies to make those but those will kind of be like the kids like goodie bags that they can take home will be like the craft supply the crafts that they make so we probably have to do you know have to do another grocery run to get things for that and party supplies like the craft supplies but other than that again very simple i do need to definitely clean the deck because the pollen is just in intense right now Everything has just a thin layer of green dust on it. And no matter how many times you wash it, like it's gonna be there the next day. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it until we're closer to party day. But we have about a half hour before we're gonna do school pickup. Kids ate lunch. I haven't yet eaten lunch, but I'm really, I don't know, I'm not that hungry. It's super, super humid today. It was very like ugh, icky outside when I was working on them, putting the mulch down. Um, I, I think it's supposed to rain. It kind of like rained before. I'm just like, you know what? Get all the rain out now so that we don't have rain on Saturday. That would be ideal. And as of right now, there's not supposed to be. So we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed and keep praying that we have a nice, beautiful, sunny day on Saturday. So I'm gonna just tidy up a little, start some laundry, and then we'll go do pick up. So Evie is making some brownies for school tomorrow to bring to school for her birthday and I'm actually gonna bake them in this muffin tin I've done this before because then you get like a little individual brownie instead of like a whole tray that you have to slice and it works really well all right so it's 3 30 um Luke just got up a little while ago and I finished editing my video for tomorrow it's crazy to think I only have one more nap time that I have to do this at least for Veda you know, for doing a video every day. I'll still be around. It's not gonna be every single day. I do enjoy doing these vlogging months. I do it in October and December and in April. So it's crazy to think that I've done it for about 30 days already, but time is just flying by. So I'm just looking at the brownies that Evie made. They are done. And then I had pulled out a little bit of, this is like a mix of ground beef and ground sausage that I had cooked because I made a recipe and it had too much. So I just popped it in the freezer. So I'm gonna turn that into pasta sauce for dinner tonight and just add it to, like I'll add my own garlic and stuff like that, but just gonna add it to like some crushed tomatoes. These have, um, what is it, oregano and basil, basil, garlic, and oregano. So that's good. And yeah, and then just have it over pasta. Pretty easy dinner. Haven't done like any dishes today, so I definitely need to give that some attention. And I'm debating whether or not to, um, Evie loved the pinata. Did I say that? She was thrilled with that selection, so that makes me happy. And now we do need to still get like the craft things. So I'm debating going tonight with her to go get them or tomorrow with all three kids. Neither situation is ideal, to be honest. So I don't know, we'll see if we wind up going tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, it's really not that much. Like I could probably just go myself and get it, but I know that she's gonna want to go. So we'll see. So I'm gonna work on dishes, dinner, laundry, the usual afternoon stuff. I think I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee. All right, sauce is going. I did also throw in a little bit. Um, I had two small like fresh tomatoes, so I threw those in. So that's just simmering away. Just want like the, you know, all the flavors to combine. We still have probably an hour before dinner. So that is good to go. And then I also had a spaghetti squash, so I'm gonna roast that. If the kids want it, they can have it, of course. If not, I'm gonna make pasta too. So I just cut it in half and you scoop out the seeds and then put some olive oil 
on the flesh side and then you put it face down. You bake it for about like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna roast that. Look at this, my enamel is starting to wear away. I guess I should look into replacing that, huh? So for the pasta, I had two different half empty bags and I didn't wanna open like a whole new bag and have it, you know, I just wanted to use up what was already opened. So I have two different kinds of pasta and it really is more than enough. And then whatever's left over, I'll probably just turn into like mac and cheese for tomorrow or something. So we just serve it with the sauce on top and then that's mine and Dan's in the oven. So for Dan and I, and of course the kids are welcome to have any spaghetti squash that they would like, but it's not really their absolute favorite thing. So I just put the sauce and then a little bit of mozzarella, um, like fresh mozzarella on top and just put that under the broiler and I can turn that off. And yeah, we're ready to eat. So we're doing a little late night party shopping. I figured it's better just to go tonight than to put it off till tomorrow. So we are back. We put most of the party things away and we got like an ice cream cake. So we put that down in our basement freezer. And I think we're mostly ready. We'll probably get balloons that morning and ice and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm glad that I went tonight. I mean, it wasn't ideal to go out in the evening, but I would rather have done it. You know, it was nice to go with her and have her be excited to pick everything out. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. That's gonna be it for Veda. So thank you guys so much for watching, for spending your time with me, just going along my daily life. <laughs> it's, it's really fun to be able to share with you guys. And it means a lot that you would spend your time watching. So thank you so much. And I will be seeing you soon. Not every day, but I'll be around. So I'll be talking to you soon. Take care, guys.